Hi guys, it's Peter again. So today I want to introduce you one, maybe another algorithm which is going to be part of DPF most probably. And we let's let's watch the session and we talk about it a bit. What is all about, right? So what you can see is then I'm using 30 spins, right? So I'm using one level but 30 spins, which is not typical for me. Normally I play 16 spins or 20, but 30. I found out somehow it's really beneficial and the success rate is very very high. So you can very often see then to reach risk row ratio 10 to 0, like 10 times winning your betting session which you started, is quite often happening. So it might be really interesting for you to always open a session, go to 10 to 0 risk or ratio and then close the session, right? Like quick money grab. Of course, sometimes it can happen then you will lose the progression as progression is a bit longer, like 30 spins. This can be, let's say, a bigger drawdown. But as I said, even during my tests, this happened time to time, but also app is able to come back very quickly, right? So I would not be afraid of that. And what I do in this algorithm, I am actually using a parameter called a shift back. So it's it's taking certain array of the numbers, which are determined by a non-hit value, but this non-hit value has to be in a certain range. This range also, I was fine tuning what is the best setup for the range of non-hit overall of all numbers and 37 spins. And I think I found a sweet spot or really something what is going to work probably very well, at least from the all sessions which I tested and also play real life, it was working quite well. So I'm mostly using also this sheet back parameter to give the algorithm instructions from which what is the seat number which should be used from non hit pattern or non hit numbers in a row and where to start to feed the numbers into the prediction, right? So it's not so simple. I spent some time to put it at work, so I had to really maybe work on that few days to, to give this algorithm algorithm really <laughs> the right conditions and prepare it properly from programming point of view. But it seems very successful. Also, I'm using like maximum base bit only two and a half and variance from average again low, like one for eight. But as I said, most of the times you will always win using this 30 spins progression. If you lose, it can be a little bit bigger drawdown. As I said, app is able to come back based on all my observations and tests, right? So this is the live session. I am using standard base bet 20 cents as usual. And as you can see, I'm not going to lose anything. I am going to win all 10 sessions, which I going to play and bet money on on numbers and um, this is exactly what what I expect from this app right of, from this algorithm with this setup and mostly you should always let's say finish your session like 10 to 0 risk ratio if you want to play further of course you can but I think it's somehow reducing the risk a lot so you are going to play only 10 times your progression or maybe even less if you increase your base bit maybe you play just two three times and might be enough for your target what you set up right so this is quite interesting so you are limiting risk a lot so you are you don't have to play like 20 30 times to reach some uh, small profit but it's enough important is then it has a super high success rate right and when i measure that it has like often a 100 percent success rate sometimes 98 99 percent of success rate so it's quite cool and really working quite well. So you can watch this whole session and, and see for yourself. I think I'm not going to any any big drawdown, right? So I'm just using maybe going to 15 spins or maximum 20 spins and that's I always hit, right? So just watch that session and tell, think about what, how it looks and tell me what's your idea. So send me email, whatever you like. But as I said, this algorithm is plan to be part of DPAP as well. So thank you for watching and see you next time.